While Florida receives the most lightning strikes per square mile, the state that receives the greatest number of strikes is Texas. Well, in Houston, you're going to have a lot of thunderstorm activity because for one, you've probably had a very, very hot day. The ground is still relatively warm. You have the moisture that comes in from the Gulf of Mexico, and then boom. May 27th, 2015, a swarm of severe thunderstorms transforms into an avant-garde performance known as finger lightning. It's like a madman being in the lab and you put some kind of weird element in one of the beakers, then ba-boom, it explodes. What a cool show. Across the city, residents are treated to the dazzling spectacle as mesmerizing bolts illuminate the night sky. I think anytime you see something that's a little bit more unique, it's always fascinating because you're used to seeing the lightning strikes that go from the cloud to the ground. But this is streaking and snaking its way across the sky. The average lightning bolt is six miles long. 